I don't think anybody in the history of BMX bikes has ever been out in the streets with armed security before. I think I might be the first one who's ever done that. Dumbass. Do I can't think of anybody. Did you, you give him you a feel bike? Dumb? We got him a city bike. Did you feel so dumb? So you had a him bit? riding a bike. Why would I feel dumb? Why wouldn't you? Because feel I didn't get, uh, get that attempted nigga robbery. You don't need to attempt to robbery. Were you scared? You had a armed security guard. He was for sure scared. Pretty you good. were scared as fuck, huh? How you no, go no, home back scared. to New York? You, okay. This is your this is your place. Bro, you got five hundred BMX dumbass. guys. You like, listen, pack somebody else. Come I on, ride BMX dog. in LA all the fucking time. Chill as fuck. You see me? <laughs> people see me riding around in all kinds of different places and shit. I don't worry about it. Part of the reason why is because I can legally protect myself in Los Angeles. I cannot do the same thing in New York. So if I'm in New York, I'm gonna have somebody looking out for me. Are they going to be six nine? Did they used to play football in college? Are they Pro- someone who looks like they could probably realistically beat the shit out of like 99% of people. Yes. Were I thought you had about it. Were they you had a nigga that looked like... I think did I'm you have a big, lot of fans? I'm too big to have an illegal shooter. Did you have a lot of fans in the of midst course. of all the BMX people? I'm famous. That nigga like about? an <laughs> evolved version of Ville. I said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> huh? that nigga, the, the security like evolved version of Ville. No, he looked that like nigga a was mega like, evolution. You, yeah, yo, for sure. There's evolutions. You could have a Charmeleon. You turn him into Charizard. That nigga was a Charizard. That motherfucker was a mega Charizard. Where was his gun? Did you ever ask him where did you ask? Did you imagine, see it? Hey, imagine having to do a security detail. You got to ride bikes past, behind this nigga. Did Yo, you see the gun? He was cramping up. <laughs> Yo, shout out, shout out my boy JR. JR has that. JR didn't have no go gun. To, JR, I'm, I'm know your motherfucking ass bullshit. You, you didn't have no gun. JR, my pop, you just for saying that. But let me tell you something. A, shout out JR. Go to my Instagram, follow him. He was, he was like the coolest. Like, he was just so fucking tight. Everybody, the whole BMX team loved him so much. He's still in the BMX group chat. He doesn't. He, he doesn't have anyone's numbers. Jr. Do not me. talk about a table. You <laughs> will be removed. Jr. You will be removed. If you talk about a table. But all right. So the, the the security company, right? They told me that there's only four thousand people in all of New York who are legal to conceal carry. Which I believe that. that's an insanely s- small number. So I couldn't believe that. They told me. They said at any point you can ask him to show you his gun and take out the clip. Now, I didn't actually do that because I would have felt like <laughs> You should have abused dick. it. Hey, now, show me. Yeah, I would have felt like kind of a Hey, mid, mid, mid-drive, you sitting there riding, hey, take out the look. clip. Hey, yeah, he's, he's dying. He's on the ground with a cramp. <laughs> oh, look. Ah! Bro, you should have got that nigga a lime or something. You shouldn't make him ride no bike. No, but he was killing the batteries on the fucking city <laughs> bikes. He was riding it for like six hours straight, going up huge hills. The battery <laughs> fucking dies on the middle of the bridge. You got to get another one. It was a whole thing. But um, no, but the best part about it was the fact that we was right with it. There's one spot in Brooklyn that like the, the area is not as fucking terrible as it used to be, but it used to be like the worst fucking neighborhood. And it's like a, a housing project that has a courtyard in the center, but the housing project goes the whole way around the whole thing. So, if, but once you get into the courtyard, there's like banks and these benches and shit. It's like one of the best spots in New York City and barely anybody fucking goes there because you have to walk through the project fucking entrance to get in there. And then once you're in there, if somebody decides they want to put the burner in your face and take your shit I mean what the fuck are you going to do because it's not like you can run running probably if there's a gun in your face probably wouldn't be a great idea in the first place but these motherfuckers with us the, we didn't even have to worry about the fucking anybody trying to punk us the fucking security from the building comes out to kick us out and our, we have our security talking to the security and basically being like nah they're going to do their thing like give, give them an extra half hour they need to pull these clips or whatever and they, they just listen they just give up it was a beautiful thing. Yeah, they got you got somebody on the inside. But they gave me yes, exactly. They gave me a fucking really because I think I don't, I don't think he was a cop, but I think most of the people who have off to carry duty. are off duty cops mm-hmm. or retired cops. Anyway, they told me they have a really good phrase that we could we could start using that. They go the the owner of the security company is like yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of fanny pack boys out there. I go what's a fanny pack boy? He goes they pretend they got a gun they don't really got a gun or they got that's why he said to have him show you the clip and everything is because he's like they got bb guns and they just be running around acting like they got a gun getting paid security jobs getting paid really well assuming that nothing's gonna happen which obviously probably like 99 percent of the time nothing happens but meanwhile they out here like they they ain't got nothing (laughs) to shoot shoot somebody with a bb gun (laughs) I ain't gonna lie. Hey, hey. you a fanny pack boy. Hey, if you're close enough, I'm not a fanny pack boy. They're gonna lay down. Oh, I'm a blammy pack boy. Gucci pack boys. <laughs> oh, I'm a blammy pack boy, not a fanny yeah. pack boy. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.